Welcome to the Badashi Museum's Artifact Storage. Today we're going to be discovering Japanese geta. Japanese geta can be as simple as a plank of wood with two stilts or as elaborate as the pair I'm going to show you. Japanese geta defined 18th century urban Japan. Within the large city of Edo, which has now become the city of Tokyo, people scurried to and from across the great expanse of the city, clacking as they went. And by the 19th century, as geta began to fade from use and Western shoes were brought into the Japanese market, many became very nostalgic for this specifically Japanese sound. Japanese geta tended to be worn with tabi, a special form of sock. And for those who were venturing out on rainy days, they might wear a very beautiful pair of geta, such as the one I'm going to show you. Imagine an elegant woman clad in a kimono, but it's raining out. She has her pristine white tabi on and she wants to protect them. So she wears toe covers with her ama geta. These are called ama geta because the word ama means rain, geta, the type of shoe. She would have simply put this decorative toe cap onto her geta and laced it. In this way, she would present a pristine foot when she'd arrived at her destination, as it's traditional for when you enter a household to take off your shoes and only wear your socks. This very ingenious, very simple, yet also very decorative design allowed people to be presentable and also fashionable, even in the most inclement weather. This particular geta features a high lacquered surface in velvet. But as you can see from the wide selection of geta here at the Badashi Museum, all different types of materials could be used. So see you next time as we continue to explore the world at your feet.